I've got today with a friend. This is Becca. Hello. Um, we are having a Epcot as we know it day, and also some of you are wondering where the hell has my beard gone? Yeah, it, it flew off. I was on a roller coaster. It went too fast. I am in the process of growing my beard back. However, it takes a few days to do. So this is stubble day, uh, and it will eventually get back to full beard over, of course, about four or five days. Um, at D23. Disney announced that they will be basically changing the whole of Epcot. So I thought we would come and see Epcot as we know it, like the Lever Legacy things that I don't really like, and we'll be glad to see go. I hope they get rid of them anyway. <laughs> um, the Fountain of. This isn't the Fountain of Nations, is it? The big ones are Fountain of Nations. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, I'm not sure if this will still be here. It may still be here. We don't know. Obviously, the Epcot ball's going to stay. We can't get rid of that. I just really quickly want to pop into the camera center so I can swap out my fuel rods. In she goes. And down she blows. I've got two now so I can like keep my life going. Also, if you press the home button up here, which is the secret button, I think. Yeah. I've also got a strawberry aside today. What did you go for? Uh, strawberry ice cream fusion. Ooh, ooh la la. Very, <laughs> very basic, she says. Um, also, the cameras in the store weirdly smells like Spaceship Earth, we were just discussing. We, we, we were guessing it's like the same aircon system. We don't know. Not complaining about that. Um, in theory, we were thinking that Spaceship Earth might be changing with the new refurb. So they basically said that they're going to build new future worlds. So like the whole of Interventions, I think, is going to be gone, um, which is going to be very weird considering that the only times I've been here, this has obviously been here. So I don't know. Maybe I'll look back at this video in the future and be like, Ugh, I remember it used to look like that. Hi, future me. This art of Disney store is possibly one of my favourite stores in like yeah. the whole of Disney. This is the Disney Springs one. I yes. The, Disney Springs. The, the Disney Springs one is a bit bigger. And it's air conned as well. Also, people just like do drawings of characters and then bring them in to put them in the folder. Yeah. That's so cool. I never knew that. Have you not seen this before? No, I've never seen this before. This, this, last time I think there was an amazing one. But these are, these are my favorite. She's 10. Come on. <laughs> Don't be so judgmental. Ooh, that's quite good. Yeah. Age 11. Yeah, this is what is shocking. This is age 10. <laughs> this is age 11. That's not bad. That's really good. So there you have it. If you want to, if you, if you yourself are a person or a child and you would like to do a drawing and have it featured in the Art of Animation store, I guess you just bring it here and then just ask them to put it in the folder. It's really cool. What did you just say? <laughs> she just said she was a something for artwork. Is it? <laughs> Not Adam Haddam vlog friendly. Anyway, they've got a happy ever after painting here. Painting slash poster. It's display only. Oh, but I'm assuming you can buy it through that thing, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show Becca the one that I'm planning on buying at the end of this year, but I, it's not in here anymore. But it's somewhere. It's in Magic Kingdom at the moment. It's the really, really, really big one with the castle and like in the foreground there's like a kid that's like, and it's like $1,500. But I need it in my life. One of my favorite things about the paintings though is that they like the price is like as you see it so it includes the frame and everything. A lot of the times you'll go and buy art and it ends up just being the little <laughs> thing in the middle. If you're ever looking for the basic blue wall, it's right there. And if you're ever looking for the basic pink wall, it's also right there. So if you ever see those people on Instagram that have the picture in front of the pink wall, that's where it is. I uh, definitely have one. You haven't done a wall picture? <gasps> and you call yourself a Disney fan. <laughs> this netting thing, whilst I do identify it as Epcot, I won't be sad to see it go. It just looks... Like, I think the whole of Epcot Future World just looks very 80s. Like, nice 80s, so that you can come and see it and be like, oh, it's like futuristic 80s, I like that. Remember the 80s? Wasn't that fun? We did that. Well, we didn't, we weren't alive. 
but yeah, I'm like I know Epcot is in good need of a nice futuristic refurbishment, which I'm really looking forward to. I lost you. Oh, there you are. They've just built Fountain View. Are they going to have to demolish that? I hope not. I need her Starbucks. <laughs> Becca <laughs> likes her Starbucks. <laughs> if we may, may we pop up the mouse gear? I need to buy a new hat for when my hair decides to go dead, which is normally about three hours after I've got into the park. And I love mouse gear, but I, I'm guessing this is going as well because that's part of the interventions building. I'm sure it would come back just as a different location. Also, Disney has just started making new mini ears. Yeah. I bet they're already sold out. Becca was just saying how fashionable these are. It weirdly suits you. Like you're in a, like you're in a period drama or something. Yeah, just in denim shorts and sacks. Classic Pride and Prejudice. Look like I'm wearing a sombrero. Like I have you a look like you're on holiday. <laughs> I look like one of those lads trips. You know where they're like, Way! <laughs> it's a look. Hashtag look. Hashtag look. <laughs> Becca was just saying the label really makes it. I'm gonna hard pass on that one. <laughs> none, of, none of these hats are really setting are setting going? me off. Although we do have more hats over here. And I guess these are more female skewed. Oh, I love a good sun hat. <laughs> you know when babies get given like a little little bucket hat or something. <laughs> what have we got? Ooh, a female villain's hat. That's quite cool. I've already got this one. I should just pull that out. Really. Oh, I was going to suggest that one. No, you look like you've got a really long head. <laughs> Oh dear. See now, it used to be that if you pay, came into Mouse Gear or like World of Disney or the Emporium, you'd have every single bit of merchandise they sell in the parks, right? Yeah. But that's not true anymore. Like you can go to like all the really quaint little stores in the middle of nowhere, like in the pavilions and stuff like that, and find stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Um, I also wish I did running because, or like active wear, because I love these. And they're like the silky feel, but that just clings to every curve I don't want people to see. <laughs> now if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that way back when I thought about getting Alex and Annie, and it was this one I was thinking about getting. I really like it. I've just never committed. Have you got any, Becca? Yeah. Which ones have you got? I have, get ready. Drum roll, please. aerial one, the Pocahontas one. The um, leaving is just the beginning. Which one's that one? Oh, the purple one. Yeah. Oh, oh, where is it? There you go. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. If Francis Dominic was working, what are watching? <laughs> I know that he would approve. Gold's not my colour. It's really not. But hmm, it fits. That's the main thing. I feel like I feel like I'm a chubby baby with a <laughs> with like when you know there's like those kid the bracelets, bracelets, the birth yeah. bracelets, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna opt for no. Kurt, my one thing in Disney merchandise is homeware is my weakness. I don't, I don't let me go near the mugs because I'll buy them. No, because I want to look at the mugs. I haven't got any mugs in my apartment right now. <laughs> no, <bye>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big. What is that? Oh, it's a dragonfly! Okay. He's come shopping. He's come shopping. <laughs> I need a new mug! I imagine that's what drown, dragonflies sound like. So I bought this thing. <gasps> is that the Mary Poppins mug? Perfect. In every way. Practically, Practically perfect in it's every just, way. It's just so easy. I haven't drunk out of it yet. Well, I was having this discussion with my friend uh, Kieran, because in California they have like the same range of mugs. But they're not, they're not tea suitable. They're coffee suitable, but they're not tea suitable. They're not tea mugs. This one is impossible to drink out of. <laughs> I own it and I've drunk everywhere using it. <laughs> oh, I guess because. Look, this is awful. <laughs> it just. The dribble mug. The dribble I guess that'd be nice to like have on a, t a counterpoint, like as a pen holder. Yeah, it's a nice. Mug. Drinking, I don't recommend it. <laughs> one out, of, one out of ten Becca to recommend for drinking. <laughs> Disney started doing these photo frames, which I really, really love. And like all, every single photo frame Disney sells, I love. Like this one yeah. is like, if I had a family, 
That would be amazing. These are really cute. I like these. Yes. I've got this one at home. Well. And this is like, I hope, I hope everyone at home is enjoying this because when I watch Disney vlogs, the one thing I look for is merchandise shopping. You're welcome. Um, and then, so when my friend Carrie came, she bought two of these. I bought two of these. Look, look, look how cool are these? So you've got the Disneyland and the Walt Disney World logos. And then the other side, you've got like phrases from the attractions and stuff. I love it. Uh, I've also got one of those. I want to get the Mary Poppins one, the practically perfect in every way. I just can't afford it right now. And I, I, I like this, I just wish it was bigger. Yeah. That will go with my um, lounge colour scheme that I've got Ooh. in the works. In I, the works. At my parents' house, apparently. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> one of my goals in life is to have a, a house that has like three or four bedrooms and then each room is themed to a different Disney resort. Nice. So like my living room is like Beach Club and then my bedroom is Animal Kingdom. My study is like the Grand. Like I haven't decided which is which yet, but I managed to get some uh, Animal Kingdom-esque pillows. I just saw a store and I was like, I have to get them. <laughs> Cute. I'm not normally a fan for lime green, but I would, I would go for a tie. Oh, Star Wars fan, R2-D2. What's that? Oh, it's Darth oh, Vader. <laughs> Here's me like, what is this? Uh, we're going on a test track, and then we've also got a fast pass for Journey to Imagination with Figment, uh, which I, I expect to get refurbished. They haven't said if they're going to or not, but if they're yeah. rebuilding the whole of Epcot, you would think that they were going to <laughs> refurbish that. Um, and we've also got a fast pass for Spaceship Earth. What are your thoughts on Universe of Energy? As in, do we do it? Yeah. Oh, well, it's closing, I think, you know. Why not? Why the hell not? We're, we're Disney. We are, di we are, we are Disney fans. This is true. Really. Um, and I think we have some time after this, so we can always have a look and see if it's still going. Like, because um, I know they close early. It's like close at seven or something. Yeah, six or seven. So we'd have to do it like now, ish. Yeah. And also, Mission Space opens this re this weekend as well. Like it reopens. They're bringing in a new movie, I think. Five minute wait on Single Rider. It says. Um, I had a fast pass for now, Becca has a fast pass for seven. Uh, and they were like, okay, so if you both come back at seven, we might be able to let you walk. Uh, so we're like, okay, fine, but I want to do it now. So we're going to have a look at the single rider line and see if it's a suitable wait. Oh, I've gone very dark. Hello. It frustrates me that Disney has to tell people basic human things. Like, please move all the way to the end of the road. Like, that's just what you should do as a simple human being. Put on your seatbelts. <laughs> You're in a car. I've also noticed that I've done my hair differently today because I couldn't be bothered. Um, and I wanted to add that the single rider line at Test Track is extremely quick. Like, we've been stood here for less than five minutes and we're already near the front. Jinx, you owe me a Coca Cola. If you didn't get the chance to make a car and you tap your magic band, it will make one for you. Ta-da! I get this one every time. It's also a Mickey Mouse shoe day. Welcome to the Sea Track. We'll begin with a capability test to see how 
how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. SIM card performance data acquired. Let's see how your designs hold up now. talking about this one track in Epcot that has like a, a beat drop and this is the song that's just come on it's like we're in a weird like movie like a trippy trippy anime yeah, movie or something it's not picked up yet though it wouldn't have been in This is the new speciality Sunday place. Oh my god, look at that. Chocolatey churro Sunday. Screw it, I'm getting it. Hello. Hello. Can I get a chocolatey churro Sunday, please? Certainly. <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. oh my god, thank you. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get that. It's huge. I thought they were going to be like mini churros or something. Those are just two ginormous churros. You're going to have to have a churro, I'm sorry. I can't eat them. So you, can't you can't eat them? No. Why? Because they've got corn in and I have corn. Oh. I like proper churros as well. They look like proper churros. I miss mm. I love churros. Well, when I was in California, I was kept saying this like, I don't know where you can buy a churro in Disney World. Evidently, you can buy them at that yeah. store just there. I want the lightsaber churros. Mm. <laughs> in Cars Land, they had like Cars coloured ones. I got a blue one. It was very messy. So, this is rather delicious. It is served basically, it's basically. Ugh. Let's try again. <laughs> This is very delicious. It's basically just vanilla, soft serve ice cream, chocolate sauce, chocolate sprinkles, and churros. A simple combination, but rather delicious. Uh, we are currently heading towards the Universe of Energy and Ellen's Energy Adventure. Uh, we only have 48 hours left of this ride, so we are going to do it for one last time to say goodbye to Ellen. Well, Ellen from the 80s, basically. <laughs> Not Ellen now. R.I.P. Ellen. I hope they keep these Mr. things. Yeah. To be fair, if the wind's blowing fast enough, you can't really even use them. They do kind of look like bus stops, like, you know. They do, they do look like bus stops, you're <laughs> right, Becca. One day, I'll look back at this vlog and be like, Oh, remember the universe of energy! And how no one went on it 
<laughs> Even this is closing weekend, guys, and it's still dead. Three and a half minutes until the next show. Let's see if it is actually busier. Mm, no, not really. This is exactly how it would normally be. Do a cartwheel! <laughs> I love how they tell you don't sit on the floor as well. In just a few moments, the first part of our presentation will begin on the screens in front of you and will last for eight minutes. The next part of our presentation will be 37 minutes long with portions of darkness, loud noises, and brief periods of flashing lights. Please use your discretion. At this time, we do ask that anyone seated on the floor please stand and remain standing through the eight minute presentation as the lights will be dimmed. This is for your safety folks. So people and don't walk on you. Ellen's Energy Adventure. Woo! <laughs> I'm like the biggest fan. <laughs> so this ride is famously the longest ride in the world. Like runtime, longest runtime in the world of a, of a theme park attraction. I wonder who's gonna take the new throne no, the new the new throne. Throne. I was gonna say crown, but then I was gonna say throne. I knew what you meant. Hi and welcome to the universe of energy. How are you? Well, thank you. No need to answer. You know you're probably surprised to see me here, aren't you? But then there's probably a lot of places you'd be surprised to see me when you think about it. If you were driving in your car, for instance, okay? Close your eyes, you're in your car, don't close your eyes, in the car, but right now think about it. You're in your car, you're driving, and then all of a sudden with the back seat, I just pop up and go, hey! You just whack me in the head, wouldn't you? That would be, that wouldn't be nice. But then it wouldn't be nice for me to do that to you. How'd I get in your car anyway? Can you, did you lock the car? Maybe it was your fault. Maybe I'm just teaching you a lesson. But the point is, to see me here as a spokesperson for the universe of energy, I mean, that's, Crazy, you know. I mean, I'm an expert on a lot of things. You know that. I know that. But uh, not a lot of things. A few things. But energy. I mean, there was a time I could care less about it. And then suddenly everything changed. One day I was sitting in my apartment. I, I said I was sitting in my apartment when there it is. I don't think it's natural. She's been nice here. Hey, hey, you. How about sharing some of those chips? No, you're on a diet. Me? How about you? She was such a smarty pants, know it all. I had the best nickname for her though. What was that? Stupid Judy. <laughs> no, well, that makes no sense. She has a PhD. I know, but it made me feel better. So now I guess she's some hotshot energetic professor. She's a professor of energy. Whatever. Who cares about stupid Judy or stupid energy? Scary, huh? My camera is going crazy with these screens. <laughs> That low, that low film frame rate. <laughs> now, I personally like to go for the middle train because then you don't have to wait for everyone. If you go on that train, you have to wait for everyone to move. If you go on that train, you will still wait for everyone to get to you. <laughs> you got the limo out front. Ooh, hottest styles, every shoe, every color. Oh, they've closed that one. Okay, helpful. All right. I'm guessing that one's for guests with disabilities. We'll go in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your party together and continue moving to the front of the theater, filling the front rows first. Once you select a row, please move all the way to the end of the row. Thank you. Like good guests, that's what we did. I don't think I've ever seen the universe of energy actually full. Do you think you can survive 37 minutes with portions of darkness and flashing lights? Yeah, all in the name of the universe of energy. One last time to do it. Here we go. That was a good high five. But better than the other one, yeah. <laughs> Because I lucked out with this like corner seat. It's great. These aren't the most comfortable seats for a 35 minute show, are they? They could be cushions.
You know, now that I think of it, I'm sure these are much larger in this time period. I happen to love these, don't you? I'll, I'll take that as a maybe. I should get going because I'm supposed to be dinner. I mean, half dinner with friends. So I should go. Hey, what's over there? Knotted on. Is it just me or do they look like Jar Jar Binks? I didn't have photosensitive left uh, uh, it was it epilepsy. <laughs> What's next? 
Okay, the answer is, this is when scientists believe dinosaurs first appeared on the Earth. Ellen. Uh, what is 220 million years ago, give or take a day? You're absolutely right. What is the sun? What is hydrogen, Alex? What are photovoltaics? What is fire? Which, by the way, is what sparked the progress of human civilization. Alex, I don't know if you knew that or not. Correct again, Ellen. And amazingly enough, at the end of this double jeopardy round, you have managed to come from way behind to tie Judy for the lead. Well done. Stupid Judy. Well, I just had to figure out how to work this little cookie thing here. See how well you did. Judy, we'll start with you. You wrote down nothing. That's correct, Alex, because there is no answer. Well, actually, you're wrong. Let's take a look at your wager. Oh, that's too bad. You risked everything you had, and that means you lose $17,800, and you wind up with nothing. Let's go down to Ellen now and see what she came up with as a response to our final Jeopardy clue. Ellen? Uh, what is brain power, Alex? You are correct. And your wager? You too risked everything, but you double your score to 35,600, and that makes you, Ellen, our new Jeopardy champion. Woo! Come on in! Anyway, I've got to go. Look out for the dinosaur! <laughs> Kidding. I'm a kidder. Bye bye now. <laughs> It's your pulse racing. <laughs> One last look at the universe of energy. Goodbye! Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> this is Becca's soundtrack. This song will be played at my funeral. Well, actually. Yeah. Da, da, da. Wrong bit, wrong bit. I it. Oh no, I'm so ashamed. So ashamed. You don't even know your own song. So, um, I haven't actually been to Walt Disney World, like the theme park for the theme park, the parks, for about three weeks. Um, I've recently been going through some training at work. Becca was actually one of my trainers. Um, and it's weird, like, coming back into a park after I've been away for so long. Um, and one of the things that when Becca was training, like, Every time I used to do something wrong, I'd beat myself up about it, wouldn't I? Terrible. Uh, so I used to come back and go like, Dobby had to wind his hands, sir. Bad Dobby! Bad Dobby! <laughs> um, we've also just seen that Mission Space is now open as well. Um, so evidently this weekend also included today. And both Becca and I are very much, we're, gr we're the green channel. I used to be able to do orange, but orange is the a bit orange too much. The orange makes me green. That's how this works. There you go. So we're just going to stay with green from the offset. We just asked the cast member at the front, like, what's changed? And apparently the orange mission is still the same, it's just a little bit toned down. And the green mission is now an Earth mission. So we are going to go on the brand new Earth mission. How exciting. Ooh, hello! Yes, please. Right. Thank you. Woohoo! Thank you. Have You love Gary's and I do love Gary's and he's not in it anymore. Well, he might, he'll probably still be in the orange one. I'm not riding orange just for Gary's and <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Don't Sorry, Gary, not happening. Welcome to the International Space Training Center. Oh, no, Gary, I'm sorry. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind space travel. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Let me introduce you to your spacecraft, the X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. 
Remember the team number you're standing on. <laughs> when the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you like get there, voice, please stand on the circle. It's very sexy. You have selected okay, just check in. They have booster seats here now, training. apparently. However, if you are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators, you He's may got have a very sexy voice. Now. Ask a uniform crew member for directions. I will. Thank you. Your flight path will take you west across North America, Asia, Europe, and back home to Florida. Wait, You're gonna love it. So it's all right. Okay, listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll be adjusting oh, okay. your pitch the you if necessary. And just pilot tell me the route so that we can deal with Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger first stage separation. You you'll also be triggering the landing seat. <laughs> Commander, pilot called in. you will be responsible for activating the flight sequence <laughs> and for activating the control. Pilot had a muffled mask on. Engineer, you will activate... When you enter the capsule, insert the booster as shown. Once you have secured all cargo, help your young cadets lower their restraints. I thought, they, seat, I thought they were referring to the cargo as the children. Once <laughs> you, you stored your cargo. <laughs> Remove your ex- Dude! This is my favorite in the world. After you get settled, check out your buttons. Like the theme park noise. Navigator! Welcome aboard. Thank you, dear. During the mission, you will be adjusting the pitch of the X2 if necessary and firing thrusters for your descent. Hold on to your seats and get ready to rock. <laughs> I love the little fan they give you on your face. It's very nice. It's, very... it's ruining my hair, but you know, whatever. I love how. Well, oh, yeah, the restraints are lovely. Just have a little, have a little nap, it's lovely. I can also see the viewfinder in the reflection of the screen on the right, so I can actually film myself and like, see where I am. <laughs> Ooh, that red light there. Okay, we This is Mission Control. We are still waiting for clearance to launch. Everything is A-OK, -okay, and countdown should resume shortly. <laughs> All of us here at Mission Control wish you a safe journey around the planet. Thank you, Barbara. I don't know if that's her name, I've just called her Barbara. Mission Control, this is the fire. Give us the go and go for launch. Network, go flight. You are go for launch. Mission Control, this is the gonna pop into interventions because this will be going with the refurbishment and so might as well just have a look once more 
So that's the old house of tomorrow, I believe it was. Or home of tomorrow. Oh my god, they've got the sum of all thrills lights on. That's so cool. So yeah, you used to be able to design your own roller coaster and then ride it, but it's been like, it's obviously closed now. But they've got the lights on. That's cool. I guess Colortopia will be going soon as well. I've done that a couple times recently, so I'm not fussed about doing that again, but... Yeah. Goodbye interventions. It was, it was nice. It's aircon, that's the main thing. Hello aircon, my old friend. Oh, my hair's a bit fluffy from that fan on Mission Space. Um, so I'm just trying to give you like a walkthrough of Epcot today to kind of capture it in its essence as I remember it from visiting from my Disney program, from being here now. Right, this is the electric umbrella. This will be going as well. I think I ate here maybe once. In fact, do you know what? I did eat here once. It was on a really bad date. So I've never eaten here again. And probably never will, so... Bye electric umbrella. When I look back in the future, this is what they served. It was very good for vegans, I know that much. Neither am I. I was actually thinking about going vegetarian. I always remember standing on the, under there in the rain and then thinking, why am I stood under here? It's offering little to no protection at all. That's guest relations just there. I just popped in to see if my friend was working. He's not working today. Uh, we now have our fast pass come out, coming up for Spaceship Earth, so we're gonna go and do that. Take a journey through the history of man. It's all rather exciting. With lovely Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. Don't get it wrong. Now, some of you may be watching this and thinking like, Adam, why are you saying goodbye to everything? It's obviously gonna be there for a while. Well. Disney said that they want the refurbishment of Epcot to be done by 2021. Which is, like, that's less than five years away, right? Where are we now? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Four years. Which means that everything in Epcot has basically got a best before date on it. Like, yeah. everything's going to be going at some point, if it's the case of a refurbishment um, of, of the whole of Future World. So we don't know if Space of Earth is going to stay the same. We don't know if... Uh, imagination is going to say the same, we don't do it. Uh, well, we already know the universe of energy is changing, so you never know. I did a backstage tour of this once. There's also a hidden Mickey in this mural, but Ever since I found out where it was, I can never find it again. I know the one's in the ride, though. Where's that one? It was like five. Oh, okay. Look in the uh, um, the Greeks area and uh, the library. Like, okay. And the medieval times area. Awesome. You'll see them all. Today. Thank you. There you go. There's five hidden keys in the current spaceship. Yeah. I think it's in the stars. I just I remember I saw it once and I haven't seen it again. <laughs> How many? Two, please. Well, one on the next one. What language would you like to speak today, dear? Please <laughs> watch um, Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, it's happened now. <laughs> I filmed this enough. A nombre de Siemens, bienvenidos a bordo. En el mapa frente a ustedes, indiquen de dónde son. Mientras que pusimos sus coordenadas. Huh? Yes, that's only because you've seen it with Dame Judi Dench, dear. <laughs> Are you actually? Not, oh no, I picked like Salisbury. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at the camera. Cheese! 
Jane G. Did sounds really masculine when she's speaking Spanish. <laughs> we really should have just chosen English, shouldn't we? <laughs> we've, we've made a rookie error. <laughs> but now we learn to hunt as a pack and we learn to work together. It's 10,000 years since we make our next great discovery. One cool fact I know about this room is that the handprints on the walls are actually the handprints of Imagineers. It's funny how though when someone starts speaking another language you literally have no idea what's going on. She could be talking she could be talking about best desserts of all Disney World more I know. Which by the way is the sticky topic we're putting at the United Kingdom Pavilion. <laughs> There's a hidden Mickey in the scrolls, but I can't find out. I can't see it right now. Where is it? Where is it? There it is! Okay, there we go. If you look at these two animatronics, you may recognize them from the Carousel of Progress. It's the dad and the mum. Yeah. I recognize him. I love Carousel of Progress. George! George! Oh, you splashed my paint all over my rump, uh, rumpus uh, room. I might try and do this in every single language just to see what it's like. This is my favorite bit. We're now practicing our Spanish. <laughs> What are you most interested in? Salad. <laughs> Describe Maya. Planning my future. I like something. I know what that one means, so we'll go with that one. What's my motivation for something? I've no idea. Matter, and Who knows what that means? Do I like vitamins? Who knows? Regulated, so like, Regimented or like spontaneous, I think. Or spontaneous vitamin taking. Sure. Spontaneous vitamin taking. <laughs> Something about friends. Do you like friends? Reading. Having a party, that's what Fiesta is. There we go. <laughs> where. Camping? Where would you like to go in the future? City or country, that's what that is. You do, yeah? City, I think. Uh, or maybe that's country, I don't know. Well, it chose for us, we took too long. If you're Spanish speaking, I really hope you're enjoying this vlog. <laughs> I love how it's... Oh, look how cute I am! <laughs> you're up to close! <laughs> I've got a hole in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, oh, was vitamins. I'm gonna miss you like a hole in the head. <laughs> Running with your eyes closed, that's not safe, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> Eat you with your eyes closed. Mm, yes. You don't, but it's a medical condition. That's why I'm so concerned about That's your medical health. condition. Oh, we're having a fiesta. I'm loving that fiesta. Now, the visitors are going to visit the world in a new world of new ideas and innovations that the genie of Siemens has made possible. I love that the Imagineer, whoever invented this game, was just trying to teach his kids how to hoover. Oh, you're there? Oh, it's easy. Here, what? 
Is this your song? No. No, this is more mellow. Mellow tune. Mellow track. Track four. I don't know if that's the track number. I'm just taking a guess. I know they have Figment here and during the Flower and Garden Festival and stuff, which is really cool. Mmm, I can smell butter popcorn as well. Ugh. I hate the smell of butter popcorn. <laughs> we have 10 minutes until we get a fast pass for Journey into Imagination with Figment. So we're going to pop into the land, uh, smell Sunshine Seasons, which is like my favourite thing in the world, and then go on living with the land and learn about some agriculture. It's also the ride I found most, most nostalgic about. Epcot. And the one road I really hope they don't take away when they are bringing Epcot forward in the future. The land. It's so lovely. I think I think this will get an update because I don't think the ceiling has changed since 1982. I don't know for sure. They used to be. Do they? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see like they've got like things to go up and down. I suppose. I just love the smell. It's one thing I hope they never change. Yeah. And living with the land's only got a ten-minute way. Yay! The Circle of Life uh, environmental fable thing I did once. And I personally will likely never do it again. It was a really interesting show. It's just outdated in my opinion. Some people love it though. There's people in there looking forward to a lovely air conditioned environmental fable. I've never eaten a garden grill, have you? I haven't. I want to it's fresh. Carrie highly recommended it. storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. I always say that the dog on this on the porch looks like my dog at home, so I was getting really sad at this bit. <laughs> My dog Eddie. And also the noise of the dog barking is like a really like transportive <laughs> sound. Humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Welcome to our living laboratories, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. Every year. Such a nice temperature in here, isn't it? Oh, have ways but not an outside plant. An outside plant no, would have like a bad life. A, a, a home plant. Yeah. In AC all the time. A domesticated plant. As opposed to those wild plants. Yeah. <laughs> Feral plants. <laughs> 
The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Continuing the theme of Classic Epcot, we are now heading around to the Imagination Pavilion for Journey to Imagination with Figment. This is another one that closes at 7, so we're doing this now. And then after this, we've basically done every ride in Future World. Yeah. We've done Test Track. We haven't done Sorin, that's the only one. Yeah. That's yeah, that, that's staying. So we're good, we're good. Um, the upstairs is currently a DVC lounge. Oh wait, they said they were going to build a a space themed restaurant near Mission Space. I wonder where that's going to go. Yeah. Hmm. Unless uh, Wonders Pavilion. That would make sense. It's got the space It'd be it. huge. Yeah. But I guess if you're looking for a big table service restaurant, that would be practical. Epcot has plenty of restaurants though. I feel like I feel like Magic Kingdom needs some more. Let's go and see Figment. That's my best impression. Hi. Did you, were you just like, did that just move? <laughs> I even saw that, that was brilliant. What's this? The Dimensions Hall. Dean Higgins, attention, Dean Higgins. Your class is now ready for you in the Site Lab Lecture Hall. Please see your way to the Site Lab. Your people Well, Dean Higgins seems to be having some tro problems with his, <laughs> with his office right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> two, please. Two, please. I should take my number three behind you. Thank you. This is a pretty fast ride, you know. There's like three loops. Goodbye. Forever. <laughs> Meanwhile, a journey to imagination. <laughs> This, this is our new home. Yeah. I mean, it's spacious. Like, we've got. Whee! Ah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Light. 
Can sense your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Come on, Becca, join in. It's your favorite song. <laughs> that meets the eye. I say imagination must be captured. I remember the first time I saw this, this scared the hell out of me. Where did it go? <laughs> chance that all of this could be changing in the future as well. We will see. Full spark for me and you. Is it in your head too, Becca? <laughs> You're so welcome. Thank you. Her name was Timothy. Interesting. I think she was wearing the wrong name badge. Coming out of Figment, I've just seen the hat I should probably get. Oh, fabulous. Oh, what's all this break? The clip threw off. Isn't that lovely? Mmm. That's a very long beak. You know what I mean? Oh, it's too, oh, it's too loose. That's the problem, isn't it? It's too loose. After that would be perfect. Ooh. I kind of like it, weirdly. <laughs> You'll always find me in the parks, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, look at that shot. Get the monorail in there. The reverse fountain. Ooh la la. Look at that crystal clear water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, had the, I had the strap on and I just thought I'd, just thought I'd scare the life out of Becca. <laughs> She'll be like, no, the vlog. <laughs> All my memories are gone. <laughs> we are now leaving Future World and moving on to the other world. World Showcase. And I have my heart set on Morocco. And I've said it in like three vlogs, like I want to go to Morocco and then never done it. Today, I am doing it. I'm having that kebab. So this, uh, this path up to World Showcase, this should be changing as well. If the concept art is anything to go by. I think there's going to be like a big statue or monument or fountain or something in this space here. So take it in everyone. It's not going to be here forever. R.I.P. 
Oh, oh my god! No, turtle. turtle, tortoise, potato, potato. That's so cool. Is this turtle talk with Crush? Yeah, he's got a little fish friend. That's cute. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, humans! Yes. Ah! <laughs> Apart from being into the port of entry store for a Spoto Aircon. Oh, what a lovely teapot that is! Ooh la la, what are these? Believe in magic. That's lovely! It's only $13.99 as well. This is all very nice. Yes, Disney merchandise. Yes. We have just found an actual teacup. Becca, what are your thoughts? It's an actual teacup. Could you review it for us? Like, what, well, what do you think of it? It's very nicely designed. It's got a nice gold detail on the handle. This is cute. Never give up. Preach it. Preach it. It's a parcel detail. It's a very nice <coughs> detail inside the mug. Do you know what? Um, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. You've actually sold me on that. I, I might get. Oh, I, have to. <laughs> I might get two. Oh. For that, when my friends come over. Uh, there is a cash register with no line over the other side. See, I told you, homeware. Homeware is my. Homeware is literally my weakness. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? There's a <gasps> Place, Ooh la la! I don't have a table in my apartment right now. Oh, I have okay. a breakfast bar. You could put it on your breakfast bar. If they had a coaster, that would be lovely. Is this wine in a mason jar? Because I am stuck. Oh, it's moonshine. Isn't it? Apple pie flavor. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Becca's found her purchase of the day. 15% alcohol. Maybe not. Peach. That looks nice. They've got coasters! Perfect! Are they coasters? Yeah. So. They're quite heavy. Sure, why not? But do I want the teapot as well? No, I don't need your teapot. I always brew my tea in the cup, so, with a tea bag. I also don't have any glasses right now, so I'm also going to buy two of these because. YOLO! Done something naughty. That is the first time I've treated myself to merchandise in a long time, and I feel <laughs> very, very pleased with my purchase. The teacups I have are mugs, so I have teacups, I have glasses, and I also have coasters as well. Living the life. On World Showcase right now, they're prepping for Food and Wine Festival, so some of the booths have started appearing. It starts on the 31st of August this year, which is the earliest I think it's ever started. Which is exciting. I'm looking forward to the food. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, this was Scotland once upon a time. Whether it's going to be the same one, I'm not sure. But it definitely was Scotland. It actually looks Scottish as well. Very Edinburgh. Back in the hometown, I'm going to head into the pub to get a pins. Because we likey pins. We're now leaving the United Kingdom Pavilion. We we got a pims. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! British Revolution's currently playing in the bandstand around through the garden. Uh, and and now we're heading through France. See, one sip. I've already started going slurry. I go to Morocco. I don't really drink, so when I do have a drink, I'm thinking go straight to my head. We're gonna be in Morocco like, hey, Dora kebab. Right, I am hungry. The only thing I've eaten today has been a Sunday, so I feel like I deserve this. <laughs> you choking there? Yeah. If you are choking, please do it quietly. I've got other things to do. I'm vlogging <laughs> here. You're in the vlog. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Just have to have a I'm having the lamb platter. The lamb wrap. Now, I got my lamb wrap plain because I'm a very fussy eater sometimes. 
it's basically a Donner kebab. Like, so if you're if you're a little bit <laughs> Epcot tipsy and you're looking for a Donner kebab, this is the closest thing you can get to it. How are you enjoying your pims? I love the decor in this room. I like the Moroccan pavilion actually. It's like the most authentic, I feel. Atmospheric, yes. So this meal was thirteen dollars, and it comes with the couscous and lentils. Um, I like it. I like this a lot. The lamb was delicious, as you can see, it's all gone. I had a very sad moment though when I was spooning out my strawberry and then I dropped it on the table. Did I have a very dramatic cry? I love strawberries. I know it's the three second rule, but I was like, I don't know where this table's been. <laughs> I mean, how good is it? Don't you just feel like you're in Sex and City 2? Like, you just feel like there's this little shoe shop here and you can leave your passport there and have to run back dramatically at the end. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I love the Moroccan man, they're so good. It's a Mitsukoshi, Mitsukoshi, Mitsukoshi. This is the newly refurbished store. So, oh, it's, it feels much lighter and airier. And I like this little tree in the middle. This is where they've moved the pearl thing to. Part of me wants to do it one day. A pearl ticket is $18. Hello, how are you? How are you? Not too bad, thank you. I'm treating myself. I'm getting a pearl ticket. <laughs> I can choose from either side, okay. I'm gonna go this side because I feel like this is the neglected side. What should we go for? Which one's gonna be a big one? I'm gonna go back a back a bit. That one. Okay, Oh, bow, bow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank so people are all thinking, let's come down together. Three, two, two one. one. In Japanese. Oh. Uh, do you know how to come in Japanese? Uh, itch ni san. Yes, perfect. How did you know that? School. <laughs> so, thank you for remembering. <laughs> You're so welcome. You can speak Japanese very, very well. Perfect. <laughs> but can you come the backwards from San? San, ni, ichi. Yes, perfect. <laughs> thank you very much. Nice <laughs> job. And can you come down too? San, ni, ichi. Yes, perfect. Wow. So you don't need to practice. <laughs> so let's go in Japanese together. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's go down together. Let's go. San, ni, ichi. Perfect. It's time to up. Your furries. Right now here, wow. You got a very shiny pro. Look at this. You got a very shiny, shiny pinkish, goldish pearl. Congratulations. Good Yay. job. Then let's measure the size of your pearl. Start from six and a half millimeters. This is the average size. So start from here. Wow, much bigger than the average. <laughs> six and a three quarters. Seven. Seven and a quarter. Keep going. Seven and a half. Wow, you got a seven and a half millimeters. This is our extra large size. Congratulations. Thank you, I picked it myself.
Thank you. Then let's clean up your pearl. This is just a regular assault to take off the oyster skin around your pearl. Lovely. That is only used for the first time cleaning. And we have some beautiful jewelry settings for your new pearl. Please take a moment to look them over. Can you work? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. You too. I had a lot of attention on me right then. <laughs> I feel very nervous right now. <laughs> anyway, so um, I got a seven and a half pearl. Sorry, just blocking you out of the vlog. You don't need to be in it anymore. Um, it was $18 plus tax to uh, have that experience. It was really cool. And then once you've, ooh, once you've got your pearl, you can then come to the jewelry station just here. Hey! <laughs> and then get a piece of jewellery that features your pearl, which is really cool. Um, so when we went over, there was nobody getting their pearl. And now there is a big line of people waiting to get their pearl. So you're welcome, Mitsukoshi, for another nine customers from me just ordering it, being like, yeah, sure, why not? I've never done it before. And like, $18 is quite fun. Like, yeah. if you're doing it with the whole family, I mean, it was just us two. We were kind of awkwardly stood there, like, everyone's staring at us right now whilst we try and clap along. Japanese on the spot, which yeah. we don't appreciate. <laughs> Luckily, I know. I I just remember we had, um, like a, I think it was an assembly, <laughs> and they randomly taught you like count to one, two, three, and there's different languages, and that was the one I remember because I remember my uh, classmate very awkwardly saying that three was like an itchy knee. You drawing on the thing? Yeah, very badly. The car. I love these. These are really good. And also in China they do um, they do ginger ginger chews. But Carrie got ones and I love those. Certainly one of the more adventurous trips to Mitsukoji I had. Uh, and now I have a pearl to keep forever. Unless I throw it into the lake like the old woman from Titanic. <laughs> I love the Italian music. It's hashtag accurate. Where'd you get the limoncello? Or the in the in the? Is it like the where the green umbrella is? Hmm. I might pass today. I feel like it's about to rain. There is a very very dark cloud coming there. If your eyes were already kind of. Oh well, I I've, I'm com I'm comfortably inebriated. We are currently enjoying the details of Germany. Although, it has a weird, it has like a, almost like a cauliflower cheese smell in the air. <laughs> like, that's the best way I can describe it. Like a burnt cauliflower cheese. I think it's just a mixture of all the foods in the area. School canteen cauliflower cheese, there you go. This is the tankard shop. Oh, now I smell toffee popcorn and that's a lot better. I wish they had smell -o vision So you could like stick a tube up your nose and then smell what we're smelling. We've just got in line to meet Snow White. The line is incredibly short. Like, last time I lined up it was like way back there. We realised while the line was so short, she was just finishing her set and then we'll be coming back. And I was like, Psh, nope, bye! <laughs> I'm impatient, I don't wait for things, goodbye. <laughs> Unfortunately, my, the sexy uh, Hungarian singers are not here today. Have you seen them before? Yeah. Oh my lord. I was like, they could serenade me any night. All three of them. <laughs> we just passed Norway. First never after, it was such a 70 minute line, so that's not happening today. We picked up a friend, this is Liv. Hey. We are now heading towards, uh, we've also got some friends at the back are waving, hello them. <laughs> We are now heading towards uh, Hollywood Studios, yeah. correct? I haven't been to Hollywood Studios in a very long time. In fact, I've probably been there collectively four hours this entire year. So, we'll go to Hollywood Studios, shall we? Ooh, Liv just showing her purchases from the day. Oh, I love this one. You said this is new. Brand new. Very lovely. We are now on lap two around the World Showcase. So I have carried this bag 1.3 miles. Yay. <laughs> We're heading to International Gateway to get the boat <laughs> to Hollywood Studios. Liv was suggesting that we walk. For once? For once? Plus, we did Future World 2. We're popping into World Traveller. Another possible swap location for your fuel rods over there. 
but I'm still on the hunt for a hat. Hello. Yay. I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm just kind of like having a look. Becca was trying to convince me to buy a bucket hat earlier. Not that one. I mean, this is just. I was like, hard pass. Hmm. Oh, there's the visor again. Lovely. It's a shame they don't have a 2017 hat because I'd probably buy. Oh, speak of the devil. What? Our Lord and Savior of the Body Cop. Ah, uh, I was like, I was like, this is not like Disney's put very something preachy on a hat. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior on a baseball cap. Our Lord and Savior Mickey. Sorcerer. We are now exiting. We are hoping to catch the friendship. Pun intended. We're on friendship three. Because there's three of us and we're friends. <laughs> oh, I like that. You, you really contributed to that. <laughs> so the friendship yeah, starts at the boardwalk, Yarn Beach Club, which is there, and then Swan and Dolphin, and then Hollywood Studios. It's very hot, and this is an open air boat. What are, what are our emotions of the heat right now? I feel very sweaty and humid. Humid? The seat, is, the seat is physically hot. And that is a very big dark grey storm cloud. So this should be fun. I don't know if these stop operating in the rain. If they do, this will be a bit of a problem. They do? Oh well this is gonna be this, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? We're gonna get to the yacht, we're gonna get to Swan Dolphin, they're gonna go, ha! Get off. Now my camera is pretty good with low light, so it just looks like daytime to you guys. But it it's very, very dark right now. Um, if I, like, this is not what I am seeing. I am seeing just black. It is very dark. No! Oh, sorry, I just, I just said out loud, I prefer the fireworks to Fantasmic and I live just, just like, <gasps> how could you? Blasphemy! Blasphemy! No, yeah. no I just, like, Fantastic for me, it just doesn't, it doesn't measure up to Illuminations, it doesn't measure up to Happily Ever After. Happily, yes, I understand. Illuminations, Illuminations is incredible. No, no. Illuminations is about the story of the world coming together as one. A very nice security man said that I could leave my bag of purchased goods here at a package pickup because I still have the receipt. So, I completely forgot they do package pickup at the front of the park. But also, if you bought something, like, say I bought something at the boardwalk and then I was coming to Hollywood Studios, I could just leave it at package pickup here on the entrance of Hollywood Studios. How cool is that? So the, he said the only condition with leaving it there is it has to all be Disney merchandise and you have to have a receipt. Still, Andy. Let's touch in. Hello. Hello. Thank Let the magic you. begin. <laughs> If you're a seasoned visitor of Walt Disney World, you will know that the water drinking fountains, the taste depends on which one you go to. This one on the entrance is a very good one, I will point that out. And I've just seen that my red camera low battery thing has started flashing. So that means I've filmed a whole two batteries of footage today, which is a little bit crazy. Hats! Oh, and there's a fuel rod station that Becca knew about. Oh, yeah. So this is in the, the store on the right as you come in of Hollywood Boulevard. It is themed. They're all themed, which I like. But yes, I'm gonna have a look at the hats. I really need one. Because this is a bit of a, bit of a mess. We're now in the store across the world. If I can't find a hat here, I can't find a hat anywhere, that's for sure. Hmm. I've already tried on the sexy foil one. It actually suited me rather well. We're playing a game of Trini and Susanna where Becca and Liv both have to pick out a hat and then I have to try it on. So like, they're, they're my fashionistas. I've got the viewfinder turned around so I can't see what you're seeing right now. But I'm gonna go and look in the mirror. I feel like I know what this one is. <laughs> I actually weirdly really like this and I like villains as well. I think Gary would be very pleased. So, okay, Liv, your turn. Okay, lovely. 
Jones hat. Indiana Jones hat. It's a semi-safari sort of look, so you look nice and well traveled. I don't have to sell mine. Ah. Just... Ah. I don't know. It's working. Ah. So the colour suits. Did you work in retail? Show. Live one. I'm gonna get this one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm so excited. If these weren't here, I'd be one. Okay, I've got my new live hat. Um, the battery's dying. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.